Hello, uh, Anthony. Hey, Avery, what's up? Uh, can you tell me what some of your uh, interests are? Uh, interests are video games, working out, and spending time with friends and family. What are some of your likes? Uh, some of my likes is I like to socialize with others. I like to explore new cultures, and I and I like to explore new things never possible. And do you have any dislikes? Um, just people being mean to others. Just anything that's just negative in general. What kind of activities do you like to do? I like to, some of the activities I usually like to do on my free time is play video games, hang out with friends, or study. What's your current job? Right now, I'm working as a crew member at McDonald's. However, I'm going to be leaving at the end of the month to pursue a career in business at a community college and just go from there. Oh, nice. And uh, tell me about uh, your family in California. Uh, my family in California, there's not really much. Um, my mother passed away when I was 14 years old, and I no longer speak to my father whatsoever. I have no idea what he's doing, so it just mainly consists of me, my younger brothers, my uncles, and my grandmother and great-grandmother. Um, and tell me about your friends. Uh, my friends, uh, only one's my best friend. Um, my best friend goes all the way back from high school. All my other friends I met in a trade school called Job Corps. And, you know, we just like to hang out, spend time together, work, work on each other's flaws, see what we can do to improve as humans, and then just spend time with each other. And, uh, do you have a partner at this point? I do not. Mm -hmm. I did have several in the past, but they just didn't work out. And what are your current living arrangements in California? Current living arrangements? Um, at first, I'm going to be living with my grandmother. Then eventually, I'm in talks with a friend. We're going to be going to a community college together. We're just going to live in Sacramento, basically going back to school for business and trying to get our lives together. What would you like others to know about you? Uh, about me, I'm just uh, someone on the autistic spectrum. I wasn't really diagnosed until I was 13. And um, basically, like, just because, you know, I'm on the spectrum, I'm a high-functioning person, doesn't make me different from anyone. Um, none, of, none of us is perfect. We do have our flaws. And, you know, we just got to accept each other for who we are. We just got to keep working together. You know, I'm a hard-working person. I try to do whatever it takes to make things right, and I try to be the best at what I can do and what I like to do best. And what are your hopes for the future? My hopes for the future, I just hope things turn around because um, a lot of people, including myself, have noticed like how people on the ASD spectrum get treated poorly not just in the United States, but internationally. It's an international problem. And we just hope like everyone just jumping to hate each other stops because you know things have been gone out of control. Like it's kind of a reason why a lot of us in the ASD or autism community have a hard time making friends because everyone just judge each other. And it's like because of that, we felt we feel unsafe. Um, who is your hero? Um, I don't really have a hero to be honest. But, you know, I just prefer, you know, not to really look up to anyone. Uh, let's see. What is your proudest accomplishment? Proudest accomplishment so far is going through trade school and finally getting accepted into a college. Uh, what makes you laugh the most? Um... Anything that's comedic, like anytime I just go to a comedy show, but anything as long as it's not too anti-LBGTQ or anti-autism. What did you want to be when you were small? Uh, when I was younger, I either wanted to be a football player or race car driver, but now as an adult, I just want to just have, go somewhere in business and just go from there. 
Would you rather ride a bike, ride a horse, or drive a car? More towards ride a bike and drive a car. All right. And uh, what would you rather do? Wash dishes, mow the lawn, clean the bathroom, or vacuum the house? Any of them is fine. Okay. If you could hire someone to help, would it be cleaning, cooking, or yard work? Probably cleaning. If you could eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Pasta. Let's see. Have you ever had a nickname? Either AC or Ace. Hmm. Would you rather vacation in Hawaii or Alaska? Alaska. Okay. And if money was no object, what would you do all day? If money was no object, I would probably either invest all my time into video games or cars. What is the best gift you have been given? A cross that was my great grandmother's and I cherish it to this day. What is the worst gift you received? Just some inappropriate comics I got from a friend that I did not want, so I just tossed it out. Uh, where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I don't. I do not see myself living in the United States. I do see myself living in another country, getting a good-paying job. Um, reason why is I no longer feel safe in America. In fact, a lot of people in the ASD community kind of feel the same way because the foundations we have here in America, they hardly do anything. So as a result, a lot of us in the community no longer feel safe. And I just want to move somewhere where I can be safe and be myself. If you were a superhero, what powers would you have? Psychic abilities to try to make people change their ways. What's your favorite zoo animal? Um, tiger or cheetah. How many pillows do you sleep with? One or two, depending on how my back's feeling. What's the longest you've gone without sleep and why? Um, probably almost 48 hours and that was around the time my mother passed away. Would you rather trade intelligence for looks or looks for intelligence? I rather trade looks in for intelligence. How often do you buy clothes? Um, not too often. Probably at least once or twice a year at least. What's your favorite holiday? Um, Thanksgiving or Christmas. What's your favorite type of foreign food? Asian food. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? takes me about half an hour to an hour, depending on what needs to be done. What's your favorite family recipe? Uh, just some old burritos that, that, was, that was used by my great-great-grandparents. Do you love or hate roller coasters? Um, kind of both. Love or hate, depending on how high it is. Is your glass half full or half empty? Um, half full. What was your favorite subject in school? Um, algebra. What's the most unusual thing you've ever eaten? Octopus. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? More introverted. I prefer to keep to myself. Which of the five senses would you say is your strongest? Um, my eyesight. Have you ever had a surprise party? Only once, not really. Do, let's see. If you were ruler of your own country, what would be the first law you would introduce? Either anti-gun laws or anti-bullying laws. What song would you say best sums you up? Life Goes On by Foreign Air. What celebrity would you like to meet at Starbucks for a cup of coffee? 
either Adam, Adam Sandler or Leonardo DiCaprio. On a scale of 1 to 10, how funny would you say you are? Probably 4 to 6 out of 10. What was your first job? Uh, first job was taking care of my grandfather as a caregiver. Uh, what is your favorite family holiday tradition? I don't really have a favorite holiday tradition, to be honest. If you had to describe yourself as an animal, which one would it be? Sloth. What is one thing you will never do again? Mm. Drugs experiments I did during high school and shortly after high school. Okay. Well, thank you, Anthony, for your time and allowing me to interview you. Mm hmm And good luck with everything that you have planned in the future. I know you'll be successful. And have a good night. All right, you too. Bye. Aloha.